So, this library behind me is way too stony, and I have a new design I want to start working on, that I've been working on in creative, and I want to put in here, but i got to take almost all of that down. So I thought today, maybe we could play around with a little bit of dynamite. TNT. Now this stuff is expensive. It costs five, uh, five gunpowder and four sand. And so, I'm gonna need to figure out a way to get some more gunpowder. In the meantime, though, I want to have a little bit of fun with this. Oh, I'm just gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna place this TNT block here. And we're gonna do a little demolition, baby. Let's do this. Ready? Ah, oh, that's beautiful. That's just gorgeous. That actually saves me a fair amount of time. This is good. Ready? Oh, that didn't do as much for some reason. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fun. I'm gonna keep the other one. Um just for some kind of emergency. <laughs> but we need more gunpowder. So today I thought I would build a creeper farm. I was gonna wait to do that until later, but I thought, why not now? So creeper farms, there are a lot of different possible designs for them, but one of the simple ones is this sort of butterfly um, design where you have this sort of triangle-ish here and then another one on that side, and they both feed into a central pit. Basically how creeper farms work is we create a space that only creepers can spawn and then we have a cat sitting in a place um, where they can all see the cat, and cats scare creepers. So those creepers will move away from the cats, and they will fall down a hole into some water where they will get killed by some lava, and their drops will fall into a hopper. So. I'm going to sort of build this into the ground a bit, and I'm going to use some of this deep slate I have. So you can see how I'm going to kind of build it into the, the landscape a little bit. So I'm going to use some of this dark oak for a roof. I'm just going to light it up for now, but eventually lights out.
All right, well, here is beginnings of my creeper farm. Eventually, I will set up another wing on the other side. But for now, I just want to get something going. Now, how we make this inner part here, um, how we make it so that creepers spawn here, but zombies and skeletons do not, is we actually put in just a whole lot of trapdoors. And I mean a lot. Okay, so we have now made this area spawn proof for skeletons and zombies because they're all two blocks high and whoops and uh, creepers are just a little bit shorter. And there's one more thing we have to do for spawn proofing spiders. We put in these little carpets. I'm not quite sure how it works, but that's what they tell me. And then you'll notice that there are um, trapdoors here. Basically, trapdoors sort of fool mobs into thinking there's um, something they can walk on, and then it isn't. So this, these trapdoors help the creepers just, you know, walk into this pit and then fall down. I'm gonna dig that next. I've got a little underground entrance to that area, although. Let's see. Actually, no, that's about right. So we only need to go one level lower. And then start digging here. Actually, no, maybe two levels lower. Yeah. Now, of course, need some water. See how, of course, water only extends out, I think it's seven blocks from the source block. So I'll have to dig it a little bit lower to keep the water going. Basically, we want hoppers right there. Right. right there. And also in a chest. So hoppers will be right here, and a chest will be right here. That way, creepers will, uh, when they die, they'll right, be right over the hoppers. And then, this is a little complicated. These signs and the glass are going to keep the lava. Um, I'll get back to the... I'll get back to the chest eventually here. So we're going to put 
put a sign. Love is going to be right here. And here. Signs can, whoops, keep lava in. Here's the magic. Okay. Creepers will. Creepers will drift down the water. Then, when they die, their gunpowder will fall into the box. This is probably good enough for now. What I'd like to do still is create a little viewport. Like, out there. can watch it, at least from far away. Oops, I didn't lose my candle. Whatever. There we go. Now I haven't quite made it ready yet. I have to put the cat in and turn the lights off. Kitty, I have an important job for you. You ready? I'm going to have you on creeper duty. That's right. Come with me. Come on. There you are. Come over here. Uh, this way, please. No! Oh, no. Ah. Kitty, you almost died. You're not supposed to go down there. Okay, we're gonna start this over. Shall we try this again? Come on in here. There we go. This way. There we go. Perfect. Look at you. Good kitty. All you gotta do is just sit there. And and scare the scare the, the creepers off. They don't explode unless they see me and I won't be around, so they're just gonna come over here and fall in. Alright. Now, close it up, turn off the lights, and let's go to our AFK platform and see what happens. There it goes. Bye bye. So, we can see it's working. Several creepers coming down all at once. Look at that. That's a lot. All right, so I was AFK just about 10 minutes, and I was also holding a looting three sword. I think that just holding the sword in your main hand while a mob dies will have the looting effect. Not 100% sure in this case. Okay, well, only four gone butter. That's, that's not a lot, but it does operate while I'm away, and you know how the hours fly by with this game. Anyway, this was more just a proof of concept than anything else. It's the smallest farm I could probably make for creepers, and later on I'll probably improve it and expand it a bit, and uh, stay tuned for that. You know, uh, will you shut up, you silly zombie? 
yeah, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications for when I release more of these, which is currently pretty often, and uh, drop a comment if you like. Thanks for watching.